Anoxaparin sodium, Wikipedia audio. Anoxaparin sodium, sold under the brand name Lovenox among others, is an anticoagulant medication. It is used to treat and prevent deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism including during pregnancy and following certain types of surgery. It is also used in those with acute coronary syndrome and heart attacks. It is given by injection just under the skin or into a vein. Other uses include inside kidney dialysis machines. Common side effects include bleeding, fever, and swelling of the legs. Bleeding may be serious especially in those who are undergoing a spinal tap. Use during pregnancy appears to be safe for the baby. Anoxaparin is in the low molecular weight heparin family of medications. Anoxaparin was first made in 1981 and approved for medical use in 1993. It is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines, the most effective and safe medicines needed in a health system. Anoxaparin is available as a generic medication. The wholesale cost in the developing world is about 1.90 to 10 US dollars and 80 cents per day. In the United States the wholesale cost is about 14 US dollars and 13 cents per day as of 2016. Anoxaparin is made from heparin. Medical uses. Anoxaparin has predictable absorption, bioavailability, and distribution therefore monitoring is not typically done. However, there are instances where monitoring may be beneficial for special populations, for example individuals with kidney insufficiency or those that are obese. In this case, anti-XA units can be measured and dosing adjusted accordingly. Protamine sulfate is less effective at reversing anoxaparin compared to heparin, with a maximum neutralization of approximately 60% of the antifactor XA effect. In people with unstable angina or non-Q-wave myocardial infarction, atrial fibrillation, heart failure, lung edema, pneumonia, greater than or equal to 0.5%, Uncommon. Common. Frequency under investigation. The FDA issued a revision to the boxed warning for anoxaparin in October 2013. The revision recommends exercising caution regarding when spinal catheters are placed and removed in persons taking anoxaparin for spinal puncture or neuroaxial anesthesia. It may be necessary to delay anticoagulant dosing in these persons in order to decrease the risk for spinal or epidural hematomas, which can manifest as permanent or long-term paralysis. Persons at risk for hematomas may present with indwelling epidural catheters, concurrent use of medications that worsen bleeding states such as nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or a past medical history of epidural or spinal punctures, spinal injury, or spinal deformations. The FDA recommends that at-risk persons be monitored for bleeding and neurological changes. Anoxaparin binds to and potentiates antithrombin to form a complex that irreversibly inactivates clotting factor XA. It has less activity against factor IIA compared to unfractionated heparin due to its low molecular weight. Thrombocytopenia, i.e. can be associated with heparin-induced thrombocytopenia, elevations in serum aminotransferases, 5.9% 6.1%, in people undergoing abdominal or colorectal surgery, bleeding, anemia, Echomosis, greater than or equal to 2%. Absorption, bioavailability 100%. Distribution, volume of distribution equals 4.3 liters. Local reactions, local irritation, pain, hematoma, 
ecchymosis, erythema, bleeding, hyperkalemia, transaminitis, hemorrhage. Monitoring Metabolism Anoxaparin is metabolized in the liver into low molecular weight species by either or both desulfation and depolymerization. Elimination A single dose of a subcutaneous injection of anoxaparin has an elimination half life of 4.5 hours. Approximately 10% 40% of the active and inactive fragments from a single dose are excreted by the kidneys. Dose adjustments based on kidney function are necessary in persons with reduced kidney function. Anoxaparin belongs to the class of drugs known as low molecular weight heparins. Other drugs in this class include daltaparin, fondaparinux, and tinzaparin. Reversal agent Pregnancy Side effects Boxed warning Pharmacology Mechanism of action Pharmacokinetics Drug class In 